This is Vicki coming to you from Upper Room Ministries, giving you a daily dose. Hold on to your hats. Okay, this is a setup, mind you. It's a setup that's going to give you breath and breakthrough. Got it? Breath and breakthrough, breath and breakthrough. Because this is an opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. Are you writing these things in your knowing place? Come on, I want to hear it. Yes, you should be. Opportunity, opportunity, opportunity is always language in a particular way, has a perception in a particular way, has a belief in a particular way, and they all need to match up with heaven. Amen? All right, so here's the topic right now. When the disciples asked, how should we pray? Jesus modeled that. One of the things he modeled was this, and this is what is really, I've been practicing today as a litany. Oh, here are the hummingbirds. Isn't that cool? Can you see them? Hallelujah. Okay. Here's the thing. The mandate. He gave us a mandate, not an option, not a, hey, if you feel like it, he gave us a mandate to forgive. Okay, did you just get that? I did. All right. Oh, that's St. Francis. Were you asking? Yes, it's St. Francis. I turned off the water so you don't have to listen to it. I'll turn it back on in a sec. A mandate to forgive. Today, to set you up for Friday's Queen of Peace healing hour. Today and then tomorrow, what you're going to be doing is this. As you pray throughout the day, even if it's prayer ejaculations, ask the Holy Spirit, Blessed Mother, Saint Joseph, the saint of for today, to place upon your heart, your mind, those people that you need to forgive. And the forgiveness prayer goes like this, Oh Jesus, I forgive. I'm getting a confirmation. I'm trying to be quiet about it. I forgive. Dot, dot, dot. That confirmation, by the way, means we're on the right track. This is a setup for healing and breakthrough tomorrow. Healing and breakthrough. Our Lord is confirming it as I speak. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so this is absolutely true. I know it because this is what I've seen for years. Whenever he is confirming something that he wants his children to say and hear. Here's the mandate, forgiveness. So just go through this litany all day long, all day long, even forgiving yourself. Even if you forgive, forgave them before, because here's the thing, you may have forgiven them before. Let's say a year ago, 14 years ago, doesn't matter, but you're still picking up the language of unforgiveness in the way in which you filter your present day relationships. You're still acting, believing, and perceiving. Acting, believing, and perceiving through language, interiorly, exteriorly, of someone who's holding on to unforgiveness. I do that too. I, I mean, I was convicted of it just a little while ago. I was just doing something in the garage and I saw something my son didn't do that he said he was gonna do. And then the Lord was like, what was your promise for today? Forgiveness. And it was a tiny little thing. You want to know what the tiny little thing was? He was going on a camping trip, and I told him to take these Funyuns. Yeah, Funyuns, just three bags. They're sitting on the workbench. <laughs> and yes, it's a tiny thing, but it matters to our Lord. Can't a tiny stain on my shirt be a distraction? That tiny stain can be a distraction for you in your healing and breakthrough. Amen. Hold on to this. Go all throughout the day. All through the day. You'll be surprised, like I am, on the various things that I've been called to forgive and who I've been called to forgive. Various things. Uh, like my husband while ago was on a meeting. I, too, am working in the same office. He gave me a frowny look because <laughs> I was making too much noise. The frowny look, the Lord said, quick, forgive. I'm like, even that? He said, yes, even that. So I'm inviting you today, forgive me for the planes. I'm actually on the flight line for the Air Force Academy and all the cadets are practicing flying. <sighs> Be quick to forgive. It's a mandate. It's not an option. It's a mandate. Amen. 
do you want healing and breakthrough tomorrow? I was just written by a lady who when she got on Queen of Peace, I prayed in the name of Jesus and she just wrote me that she went back for a cancer scan. All the cervical cancer was gone. The doctor said she's never seen anything like that in her 25 years. That soul felt warmth and heat in the cervix. Amen. Don't you want this? I want it for you. And I'm willing to help you pick up these spiritual breadcrumbs through this mandate of forgiveness. Let's do this together. Amen. Let me know what confirmations you're getting, what discernment mark you're getting, all in the name of Jesus. Amen. I forgive so-and-so in the name of Jesus, and I place them at the foot of the cross. Lord, please bless them. I forgive myself in the name of Jesus, and I place myself at the foot of the cross. Lord, please bless them. Lord, I forgive my son for leaving the Funyuns on the workbench. In the name of Jesus, Lord, please bless him. That little stain, that tiny little judgment, that tiny little frowny face is a distraction to your healing. Do you want breakthrough? Let's wipe it away by the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you.